before installing windows just plug your bootable pen drive into your system and then just start your system or if your system is already start so just restart your system and after restart you will uh, have to press your booting key in your keyboard so for hp it is f9 and for jabronix it is f11 so you can check this on internet also and when you press this booting key then you will prompt a boot menu here you have to just choose your usb your pen drive so in my case there is a uh, name is usb so just click on usb and after that you will uh, boot by usb so okay let's start okay so then it is going to boot with the usb and mm -hmm, mm -hmm, let it be boot so okay so now it is booting with the usb and then then you will get a prompt here you have to just select your language your date and time uh, or reason so in my case this is english united states is okay so i don't uh, have to change uh, this so just click on next okay and then install now just click on install now then setup is starting and then you will get uh, this prompt and here you if you have a, a, a license key so you can just put this license key in this box and then click on next and if you don't have any key so just click on i don't have a product key so you can just bypass this activate windows so i don't have and then you will get this edition windows so you have to choose your edition in my case i am going to choose my windows 10 pro if you want to change uh, change this so you can choose anyone like a uh, home education pro anything so i'm just going to uh, select this pro and then next and after that just click on i accept the license terms and then next and then click on custom here i have two options upgrade and custom if you are using a windows 7 and you want to upgrade this to windows 10 so you can choose uh, this upgrade option and otherwise if you want to do clean installation so you have to choose this custom option so just click on custom option and then uh, here i have to just create the partition but in my case my earlier my window installed on ufi mode so my hard disk partition schemas is gpt and i'm using my bootable pen drive uh, which i make with cmd so it is set on mbr right so it is not supported with the gpt so it is saying just windows can't be installed on any partition so if i want to install otherwise so i have to just uh, change something i have to just clean all the partition and then create again the schema so i can just set so for clean this just you have to press here a uh, shift plus f10 if, when you press F, shift plus f10 then uh, cmd prompt will be open here so just click on that mm, where is the key okay okay so shift plus f10 okay now my cmd prompt is open here i have to put some commands and to clean i have command disk part this part is the utility which you can use your uh, disk management so just click uh, put the disk part and then enter and then sell uh, list disk so you will get all the details of your disk so in my case my hard disk is on disk 0 so just select disk 0 and then clean and after clean just close this window so you can just close it and just refresh this option so you can use f5 also for the refresh and all the partitions will be refreshed and all the partition will be cleaned right so now my hard disk space is 149 gb so just create new partition so click on new option and then give the size so in my case i'm going to give the 100 gb so you have to give the size in mb so 102400 and then apply and okay so partition is created just click on next and when you do next so installation process is start 
so it will take some time but i am just fast forwarding my video because otherwise this video will be very lengthy so i'm just fast forward so now process is going to complete it will take uh, we can say about uh, 20 minutes to installation so now it is restarted and after restarting you can just unplug your pen drive and then it will set up your windows so it will ask some uh, questions and some options with you so okay let it be done so this process is very lengthy actually uh, it will take about 20 to 25 minutes so i fast forwarded this video okay so let it be done okay now in this process it will restart many times okay and okay now so it will go give me some prompt and that is first prompt here you have to select your reason so in my case i'm going to select india so just scroll down okay select the reasons scroll down okay no 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 no, no. actually i so scroll up i for india okay where is india okay just select this india and then click on yes and then next is you have to select your keyword layout so in my case in, in english india is my keyword layout if you have any other second keyword layout so you can select here otherwise you can just click on skip so i am going to click on this skip option because i have not any other second keyword layout so just click on skip and then okay now it is uh, do some setup so let it be done okay now we are still okay your computer will restart okay and just a moment uh, we are getting everything okay so next option is okay so here you have to select your uh, means uh, for what you are going to use this window means for uh, personal use and for organization if you will select this personal use so you can create your uh, local user account also and you can create your uh, you can log in with the microsoft account also but in organization case you have you will get only two options one is uh, microsoft account and second is domain account means you can't log in with the local user account so i'm just going to use this personal use and here you can see offline account option is visible but if i will uh, go back and just click on organization options so you will see just click back and just click on organization option so uh, here you can see microsoft account option and only domain and join uh, option is visible here uh, local account option is not available here so just click on personal use then next and then click on offline account and then click on mm -hmm, limited experience and you will get user creation window so here you have to put the name of user so i am just going to create user user one name right so user one and then just next give the password okay and then next then confirm the password and then next and you will get some security questions so just put your security uh, select your security question and put the answer and this security question will be help you to reset your password if you forget your password anytime so you can reset your password with these options so just put any options here but you have to just remember these options uh, remember this answers which you entered here so you will get three questions actually so you have to answer uh, of these three questions and then next so just a moment now it will take some more time and okay just a moment and then you will get some more options you are you have to choose privacy settings so just next and 
then you will get some more options uh, customized options so you can select any entertainment uh, creativity option gaming option so it will add some uh, uh, some features in your windows so i'm not going to add anything here so just click on skip and then um, wait for just a moment and uh, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. next okay let's cortana help you get things done actually cortana is deprecated now but my window is is 22h2 so it has available but when it will get update so it will remove that so just click on next okay so now it is installed successfully i hope this video is very helpful to you let's go guys